All right, guys, so I'm headed to the Evil Spider King's lair. Um, I'm inside of the insect nest. You can see inside of here, uh, there's like spider webs and spiders are kind of gross. Um, I have a feeling that I'm going to lose this one because my level is a little bit low, but we'll find out soon. Over there is another uh, round of quests. I think that's just a... Um, side quest thing i'll show you the new style of battling it's sort of like i guess a little bit chess like uh with the pieces being your um your characters and then they all can uh, fight in different directions uh, it's, it's kind of interesting i i don't know if i exactly like it yet but uh it's just new lines of quests that, uh, that are around and this is the evil spider king's lair You'll see the evil spider king, and you'll also notice the names above it. You see the orange name. That means that this uh, creature has a higher level than you. Um, that's basically what that means. And we'll go ahead and attack the evil spider king uh, as soon as I check to see if I can switch anyone's armor. That's just to get a little bit more power just in case. We'll go ahead and fight the evil spider king now. Let's see. Oh, it looks like I have a 100% chance, so hopefully that works out for me. I, I will use uh, some new spells that I picked up. Let's see, I can't use them yet, so I'll go ahead and use normal attacks. Let's get a good look at the evil Spider King. It's it's one of the last bosses that will actually look this small. Um, later on, the bosses just become begin getting really big, like really big. And this is a new attack. It's called Evanescent Scud. I put it on my main. There it is. Um, I don't know if I leveled it enough because obviously it's not doing that much damage. Use some holy guard. Maybe I should use a uh, an actual scroll. Looks like uh, I'm gonna be here for a while. I'm going to try to delay their turn as much as possible with the uh, lightning spear. That's actually doing a really large amount of damage and that's really bad. Ouch, that's not good. It's because they damaged uh, my main early on and uh, caused the little dizzy thing and that sort of prevents me from doing too much. Yeah, <laughs> that's what I thought. And it plays really sad music. And you lose a little bit of experience, it's not that big of a deal. And the nice thing about this game is that um, basically what I'm going to do is revive everyone and I can teleport right back into the area and try again. I think this time I will use Scroll of Reinforcements. I give it to my Shaman. I'll also use Scroll of Vortex. Just to ensure that I win. Uh, let's see, field. I wonder if you can teleport straight into a boss's area. Oh wow, you can. Oh. 
Oh, actually, it lands you right outside of it, so that's pretty nice. Who's got the scroll of reinforcements? Alright, let's see. Who has the scroll of reinforcements? The shaman has it. I hope she gets a turn. actually cancels the spell. I think I'm gonna die again. <laughs> yeah. I got closer. It's not gonna happen. Alright, the spider is too good. Alright, I'll record the third try when I get there. Alright, here goes the third try. I didn't do anything in between now and then. I just decided I'd just go again. It's mainly the spiders doing the little uh, confuse ray thing. Uh oh. I can't use scroll of reinforcements while in this mode. Alright, I got off the freezing axe. What the freezing axe does is it prevents this row from attacking completely. <laughs> 